Hello guys and welcome back to Star Drive with the Black Box and Combined Arms mods and uh, if you're still watching you obviously enjoy watching people suffer. I think this is going to be a very difficult passage of play as we're um, on the back foot now against the Volfa who have far too many ships for me to uh, deal with and um, the Draylock have declared war on us so I'm quite worried about that as well. I think uh, we could lose a few worlds in this episode but we'll see we'll see you know we're gonna we're gonna fight on and do what we can um if you can hear a lot of background noise in this video i can only apologize it's um it's about 30 degrees celsius here in the uk and um i've got a little window open which is my only source of uh, a slight cooling breeze but it's not much at all so um yeah let's uh, let's get on with the game but if i uh if i go silent it's probably because i've passed out in the heat not, not really built for it. Um, so, second fleet, we were trying to, let's say, fleet um, remnants of uh, the fleet. Um, so, we were researching uh, Geosurvey. That will help with production, I hope. Now, on Kothla 3, which is industrial, we are working on the shipyards. The fleet itself is actually being... Um, Produced in a number of other places, including Kothla 4, which is a 1.8 richness world, actually. It's um It's not very it's not growing very quickly. Um I kind of feel like you know, maybe that maybe the governor hasn't built the planetary education centre because there's not enough people to be assigned to it. I suspect that that may be the case. Um, so look at trade. Is there any incoming freighters? There are for, with food. Okay. So second fleet, let's bring you back in the direction of Kofla and uh, the bombers as well. And uh, the longer we can go without the Draylock turning up the the better but I suspect as, as they declared war on me it, uh, it won't be very long until we until we see them what I could do with is the Vulfa coming to attack Unikin or Yukini um, and um, getting into a um, a battle with these pirates who just destroyed one of my freighters so that's a bit annoying I wonder whether they've been doing that all along uh, the Draylock are uh, here. So let's go to Ektra and see whether we can uh, do anything about it. Oh, it's going to be it's an 8.3 billion world and it's industrial, not producing very much. Um, oh, it is going to be a shame to lose. Of course, it's very close to Drell, so it's not surprising. Maybe I should have moved my fleet there before now. These acolytes, 2.5, gosh, they hmm, really isn't producing a lot at this point. Kofla 3 is producing at 12, but is working on the shipyards. Wants to build some subspace projectors for some reason. I won't rush it, because we don't have the production and it will just hurt my economy. One of these freighters. Um, yeah, do you know? I think I should actually. Um, I should quarantine Unikin 1 and uh, Unikin 2 because um, I suspect I've been losing freighters to this, uh, this pirate base if they're coming in from this side of my empire. Draylock troops are landing. Damn. Do we? I think we have some troops on Kothla, probably not many. Um, we've got eight, so let's bring the third fleet as well to see whether we can counterattack at uh, Ektra. Don't want to uh, get caught up in that remnant system. 
What have these guys got? Uh, okay, blue lasers, lots of them. And then these uh, smaller fighters, with, again, with blue lasers. Okay. And we unfortunately lost Extra 2. Andalf is apparently going to be attacked, so maybe I should keep my fleet around here. Andalf is another nice world. Um, so yeah, let's perhaps gather the second fleet there. Again, production is just very, very slow. Let's have a look at the Empire. Kothlar is the best, producing the shipyard, and then it's massive drop then down to 2.6. So I think with Geosurvey we'll get a flat bonus. I then need to probably research some uh, population increasing technology. Andalf is now not under attack. I'll wait for um, wait for the fleet to group together a bit more because there's actually only three ships in this uh, main body. <laughs> that is not enough, Benjamin. That is not enough at all. I should probably just put the game speed up a bit while we're waiting for stuff to happen. Oh, I'll drop it back down now that stuff has happened. So yeah, geo satellite uplink more production per richness, and let's go to. Not logistics, socio engineering. Uh, advanced sanitation? Yeah, let's go and get uh, advanced sanitation. And um, so on Kothlar 3, I would hope that it's going to go with the uplink. Let's uh, prioritize that. Kothlar 4. Come on, you need to get that as well. The other production worlds, um, so that's Kothlar 4, Unikin 1, oh, already in the queue, but let's, uh, let's prioritize it. And, um, yeah, Yipperong, um, yeah, yeah, oh, already on the case, but let's, let's prioritize it. Maybe I should have gone with that a long time ago. Do I have my scout? I do, so maybe we will bring the scout to Ektra and just see whether there's uh, any chance of a successful counterattack at this point. I will, out of optimism, launch some troops from Kothlar. Oops, that was a misclick. There we go, I'll grab them and we'll uh, we'll move them north. So Kothlar 3 then, still hasn't built the uplink yet. So producing at 14.5, which is nice, but um, you know we're not really contributing to food production. In fact, we're importing food production, which um, may not be wise. Let's see what the geo uplink does. It should add four, I believe. So we've got that now. Uh, two production per richness. Oh, so per per colonist. Is that right? No, it's just two. Oh yeah, so it's adding four hammers. There we go. So two per richness, and yeah, that's now we're up to fifteen point eight. And Andalf is going to be attacked. Not sure I can do much about that. I could bring, I could bring those troops, couldn't I? No. Oh, uh, are we too late? Could be too late. Let's uh, let's see whether we can land troops on Andalf under cover of the second fleet.
Oh, but it's no, it's not. It's not we're, we're, too, we're, we're too late. We're too late. I'll just bring those troops over here. Second fleet. Um, jump if you can amidst the troops. We have launched some loads of home defense. Oh, because of the drone platform. Go, little drones. Oh my gosh! Oh, I need I needed something, guys. I needed something in my favor, and and that was it. Whoa, well, wow, wow, wow! That really was a swarm of drones. When um, you know, oh, it wishes this was a better world. Let's give it an area ponic farm. Can we rush anything? Um, wow. Okay, so when I took this world, the drone, um, had a, you know, the drone bay had not kicked in yet, I think. So I was underwhelmed. Um, but oh wow, that just that just saved my little backside. Okay, Kofla four has now got it. Uh, yeah, up to four point five now. So pretty much doubled the production there. Not to an amazing extent, obviously, but um, better than nothing. So um, I've been, yeah, I've probably been picking the wrong technologies. I think the next playthrough I will prioritize more those technologies that give you a flat bonus to begin with, because when you haven't got many colonists, they are um, they're obviously far more far more useful. So we've got one shipyard. I believe. Oh, it hasn't deployed yet. Oh, yes, it has. Yes, it has. Yeah, and it's brought the cost of the next one down to 506. If I was to build ships, what would that cost? It would cost 148. Okay, so still quite, quite a bit. I'll, I'll invest in the second shipyard. So first fleet then, why don't you do a little flyby for me? See whether there is any any hope of a counter-attack. Let's just pause. Okay, so three in an outpost, we can take that, but it's not really worth taking. Extra two. Okay, lots of troops. We will need uh, some bombers, but I think we've got the force to take it so long as they don't reinforce too heavily between now and when our forces turn up. I'll bring my troops over here so that they've got a clear line at it. I can only hope that a successful counter-attack will um, cause the Draylock to reconsider their position. We do need to be successful first, of course. Oh, I quite like that that drone. That that. Do you know what? I thought I'd uh, not um, not enjoyed any success um, in my um, early endeavours, but that that turned out to be a good one. I think that was... was that a world we took from the Vulfa as well? I can't remember now. Ancient history. So we've got our troops in position. Third fleet is coming up. The collection of six ships that I'm, you know, rather, um, rather inflating by calling it the second fleet is on its way. So we've got three bombers there. There's another one on the way. Um, yeah, we're building some more, but slowly. How is Ruffolk? 3.6 on the food front. Um, nine, nine out of eight freighters. I'm not sure what those numbers mean. The nine out of seven. Freighters, 
being produced um, heading out um, this research lab gives a flat bonus we should get that okay so let's um, let's move in the second fleet and the third fleet and bring the troops a bit closer I'll uh, bring the first fleet in just for a bit of recon so yeah second fleet can kind of stand back a bit third fleet you go in to bombard sorry guys you can hear my dog in the background with them um, with the heat, all the windows are open, so um, you know all the sounds come in, and uh, it's his job to defend the house, and uh, that's what he's doing. Oh, we've been we've been sort of ambushed. Not as many as the Volfa, but still. So let's continue with the bombing, and I think let's uh, let's get the troops involved as well. I should be able to take this on. Ooh, I don't know. He's jumped away. Took out that one, good. Oh, we've lost one. Doing some damage with our greens, and then um, the beams come into play. Can't quite kite them, they are fast. But they have jumped away now. Oh, we do need to take out these, because they're going to hit our bombers and potentially our troops. So they've already done in fairness to them. Oh, they got all our bombers. Damn! Well, apart from one. And they're going to get our troops now. Gosh, the Draylock chips are fast. Oh, no! No, we're losing too many. We've lost too many. God, how many... How much firepower have their ships got? Oh, yeah, look at all those blue lasers. Damn, and they're clustered on top. It's actually two ships there. Oh, well. How many... Did we manage to get any troops down? No, two, but... Uh, they won't last. Can get my bomber in to help. But I now need some more troops. Oh dear me, Benjamin, you've uh, royally fluffed that up. I will prioritize uh, two troops. Keep the second fleet there. We're going to be able to launch any bombs? I don't know if I'm happy about this uh, lower bombing range. Um, just seems you've got no, you know, other than boarding defence, you can't really take on the um, the ground troops at all. But maybe it's the I don't know. Stop the. I mean, I'll have lost. I'll have lost that uh, bomber now. Uh, oh, Volfa, after you pour in. Um, damn! I was hoping they were going to go for Uniki. There is nothing I can do against that right now. Damn. Okay, well, let's, uh... So I haven't lost that, um... Bomber yet. I'm still doing some damage. Um, I need... some troops. Which we've got one. I'll, um... Oh, we should get the other one very shortly, actually. Hang on. Right, so let's launch two troops. And I will bring them north. So hopefully we take out all of the defenders and then can land and oppose. Is the plan. We do have a bit more of a second fleet now. It's all dispersed. We need to bring it all together. 
So you pour in is a tundra average. Oh, 3.2 billion. That's gonna that is gonna hurt us, unfortunately. But there's just uh, too many of them. I wish they'd come for you, McKean, and get caught up with that pirate base, but um, no such luck. So the bombardment continues. The Alpha troops are landing. I imagine we'll get a notification in a few seconds about the victory there. I'm a bit worried about this ship going through Gamma. It might get caught. Uh, oh no, it should be alright. Troops are on the way. But I've got to hit the... Um, why is my first fleet at Draylock? At Dr you know, at, at Drell. Um. Oh, enemy ships. Which have... Uh, to, I mean, blue lasers is beyond where we are now, so uh, maybe that's why they're so impressive. They took out my bomber. They did. Oh, you yeah, monkeys. So I've got my troops arriving, but I can't land two troops against uh, the forces that are there, even though they're not particularly. There's only two, but then it's the 14 of the military outpost and the eight of the outpost that I could not, um, couldn't take on. So yeah, it looks like um, the Draylock have, um, you know, scuppered me for a little while. There's a bomber on the way there. Yipporin has fallen. I imagine the other one will go shortly as well. So we need to get this, uh, get this fight against the Draylock done as soon as we can. Let's just make sure the bombing fleet is uh, yeah, going to need to queue up more ships. Are these acolytes? They are, so let's requisition some of those as well. The shipyard is uh, still... Yeah, it's, it's pretty, almost done. Almost done at um, Kothlar 3, so producing a 12.5. Advanced sanitations, not a million miles away. But we're about to lose the other Yaporian world, which was a, an ice world, a rich ice world, so uh, not a massive loss, just frustrating to be losing these planets against an enemy I really thought I had on the on the back foot. Okay, so we've got advanced sanitation now. Xeno farming is quite the investment, but um, I think we we need that to get our worlds developed, get food out to them. I imagine they're rebuilding. Yeah, uh, not not too substantially actually. Not really sure why we're building subspace projectors here. I mean, um, we've actually lost Ektra, but uh, maybe it was an older command. Okay, we got the research lab at Rothalk. So Kothla 3 is now building the early bomber, so it's back in the game when it comes to um, production of ships, at least. We need that bomber to arrive as quickly as possible. It's almost there. Oh, Velfa at uh, okay, troops are landing. We knew that that would happen. Second fleet now is twelve ships strong. So uh, you know, we are um, kind of marshalling our forces. Let's add in some more. I 
won't get caught on that gravity well, little bomber. Just whiz by. Good, good, good. And yeah, bomb as soon as you can. We'll bring these troops in a bit closer. More ships on the way, which is good. You pour in. Unfortunately, we can't hold on to that. Kofla 3, come on. Yeah, producing a 12.7. These acolytes cost 86 at Kofla 3, so we can, you know, we can produce them relatively swiftly now. Just waiting for those bombers to get into play. I wonder whether it's something, you know, an upgrade of the bombs, you know, like the antimatter or something, maybe they are, um, maybe they've got a longer range, I don't know. So Unikeen is the next one that they're going to hit. I can only hope the pirates will sort of... Um, Come and def well, not come and defend us, but sort of scupper their plans. Okay, so the bombing is resumed. That's one troop gone. That one's being damaged. I think I can bring the troops in closer. Defensive buildings being damaged. I do love this screen now. You can see the projectiles, sort of, or the bombs, you know, coming in. And then you get to see it on this grid as to what the effect was. That, you know, really nice um, design choice, which is, uh, you know, in the original game. My second fleet is moving. Oh, yes, there is a Draylock uh, ship that's going to. Try to interfere. Oh, ships! Actually, it looked like one ship, but there were there were two there. So yeah, we need to get our troops landed now and um, stop the bombardment. Actually, we think we've done enough. What about extra one? Are there? Oh, I don't know what's there. Second fleet stay there. Third fleet sort of come over here a bit. Let's have a look. So the Volfa are third military strength. The Draylock are sixth. We are still ninth. So that, that does make me think that we should perhaps try and push the Draylock until they, um, you know, reconsider going to war with us. Perhaps I uh, want to explore peace. So if I could uh, at least force them into a peace treaty, it would allow me to concentrate again on the Volfa. So we captured Ektra, recaptured, recaptured is what I should say. Recaptured Ektra. Um, oh god, it's just not a very good world, is it? Let's put it as a research world. And uh, yeah, I'll just allow the governor to to get on with that, and um, second fleet now, yeah, move towards Ektra 1, there, oh, there's a lot of troops there, okay. So yeah, second fleet, move in, but don't get too close to the planet. Third fleet, also move in. And I'm sort of hoping that we can do enough bombardment damage that we um, we can take the... Well, do you know what? We may bombard it so much at 0 0.16 billion people, we could perhaps just wipe up the population. But we've at least got it under siege now, so they can't get reinforcements.
So why have they taken that? Just to secure a barren average because it's in their it's in their system, or are the Draylock do they benefit basically from barons? I don't, didn't think they did, but uh, I've never played as a Draylock. Maybe maybe that is something I should have a look at next. Is um, I was going to go Dauntless, but maybe Draylock. Let's have a look at our second fleet. Let's um, add in some more. Requisition those. Bring the second fleet a little bit closer. Let's have a look at what's going on with the Velfa. Oh, they've arrived at Yaporin. The pirates have not launched, however. Damn. Oh, you, Unikeen, sorry. The pirates haven't launched. Damn, they are they're successfully conquering our worlds. While our bombers slowly edge towards this world. There we go. These firing from quite, quite, from quite a range, actually. But we lose loads now to this... Um, this launch of their troops. Um, both the troops are landing. Yep, so one of our ships was captured. The second fleet there is, of, is there to you know, sort of put them down, as it were. But it's always a shame to have to do that. So third fleet continue to bomb. Second fleet, oh yeah, do take out any um, any hostiles. So fleets then, I need to replace those losses. We lost two there. Okay, so second fleet is still building up. So we'll keep up this bombardment basically. Yeah, we've, we've destroyed the colonists, but there are still troops on the planet. And it's not a good world for me being a baron, so we will just continue the bombardment until we've uh, wiped out these troops. Oh, I think they've tried to launch to get away, haven't they? They have. Good, okay. Well, that took, uh, took them out. I'd rather be fighting their troops in space like this. So, let's see if we can persuade them to give up the fight. So, Drell... Seven. Where's their home world? Drell four, is it? Oh, or Drell three, actually. Well, look. Let's bring this first fleet there. Second, third. And um, so, firstly, I'm happy to have peace now, guys. You know, happy for peace. Got to be respectful. Okay, fine. So I'm going to have to come and try and bombard your worlds, I suppose. In the meantime, the Vulfa are just running riot. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't have anything to to face them right now because I've got to keep on building up this um, second fleet in the hope of, um, you know, sort of reaching parity with them at some point. Oh, actually, I moved my bomb... Yeah, okay, yeah, we've got quite a bit of ordnance. I was thinking I'd move them away from extra too swiftly then. So first we come into Drell... Close to the orbit of Drell 4. Or Drell 7, actually. Tell you what, let's start with Drell 7. 
and see whether we can send a message to them. And that uh, message is basically peace or die. It's not even surrender or die. It's just, you know, let's stop wasting resources fighting each other. It's actually, this ice rich, we can probably do better than they can because it's a 1 billion world for me, whereas they've only got 0 0.5 population on there. So in one sense, I'm fairly content with this campaign because I'm, you know, it is allowing me to slowly gather more forces. But on the other hand, it is just um, it is allowing the Volfa to do what they want to do, and that is to uh, land on Uniking too. Um, I just wonder when they're in this system whether the pirates, you know, will, will aggro. So let's move our ships now to Drell 4. Well, our scouts to Drell 4. Okay, sneak attack there. This is an old uh, cleric. And there's troops on the planet, not that many. How are things on Kothlar 3? I we'll always remain interested in my um, home world. Let's recruit some troops. Uh, oh no, the Dauntless are Oh no, 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 no. And I've lost Unikeen. So let's. Um, And the remnants are getting stronger. Lovely, lovely. That's just exactly what I need. Though maybe it is what I need. Perhaps they'll target the the Dauntless or the Vulfur and help me out, eh? I live in hope. And I lost my scout. Okay. So that should be... It is rebuilding. Good. So at least some things work the way I uh, planned them to. So whilst that bombardment's continuing, let's move our second fleet then on to Drell 4. Drell 7. Not much left of Drell 7. And we've got our scout back, so I'll bring you up here as well. The remnants are at the Greek system? Oh, oh yeah, okay. So um, I don't know very helpful comment that explained this to me, which is that um, when the portal's created, it, it sort of um, produces a bit of a garrison, so the remnant fighters will head towards it, and um, that means sometimes you get in the way. I obviously don't like doing this, you know, just uh, obliterating world seems like a bit of a waste, but uh, I've got to get them to uh, the Goza system now. I may have to I may have to try and... Goza, it's, it's not going to be too... Yeah, it's just a barren average, so it's not actually a massive loss. I think if they come for Kothla, I've got to then divert my fleet. Um, so yeah, second fleet, get in and destroy those um, defensive batteries. And yeah, third fleet, obviously, is now moving. And maybe this is a world. Oh, look at that, it's got a big mountain there. Um, maybe this is a world where if we can strip the defences, it's worth taking it. Ooh, we are losing ships though, because the planet has uh, defences along with the batteries. Okay, this is perhaps uh, going too far. Is there a capital here? No. Is 
This is more expensive than I was wanting it to be. But we've got to try and persuade them to uh, consider that this war is too too expensive. It might be too expensive for me. <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to do that because it's centered on the fleet, which is actually quite far away. So, uh, yeah, let's move to take on that battery. Bombers, come on, bombers. This bomber's going away or because he's injured. Okay, so I think the planet's defenses are too strong, actually, by, by quite a way. So, third fleet, come away. And uh, I assume Drell 3 is equally... Well defended. Both the forces landing on Goza. Oh, I was really hoping I could get them to. Oh, and then Dr yeah, so Drell Three is their capital. We will not be taking that. And there's a plenty of ships surrounding it. Oh, I don't think they're military ships. So um, okay, so scout come away. Second fleet come away. Third fleet come away. Let's go and have a look at Rovosat. Rovosat. So fleets, I need to rebuild my bombers. And um, at some point I'm going to need to redesign. Oh, we lost a lot of ships then. Damn, damn, damn. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen, really. Uh, so Goza, yeah, I'm going to lose. It's uh, kind of the dominoes, you know, when you start to, when you're on the back foot, yeah, Greek will be next. I don't really have the resources to deal with that. Kotla 3 is, yeah, the center of my production. I'm producing at 17.3 now, so, you know, finally I've got it uh, producing a decent amount, but uh, too little, too late. So I need this first, this my little scout to, to get out of there. And come have a look at what, uh, what awaits us. And the Dauntless are now at war with us. So, you know, that's not a surprise. They're probably going to go and grab Omega first and then move in Greek, Kothla. Damn. I'm not, um, though I may sound it, I'm not actually bitter, I've made quite a few mistakes. It was going well to begin with, it was going well, but um, I've just, uh, yeah, not, not kept up. Oh my gosh, look at that world. I don't have the bombers to take that on. Okay, so we must now, well, let's bring everybody back to Kothla 3, I think. Aeroponic farm was completed there, which would hopefully allow more production, but um, why has, I don't know, it just seems to have taken a very, just hasn't developed at all. Why, why is that? Why have I, I've obviously screwed up some, somewhere. Maybe it was designated as a research world, maybe that isn't the thing to do. We're gonna get Xeno farming, but I think I think I have the right things on the wall here. It's um, yeah, it's a hard lesson because I thought I was doing really well. I had quite a lot of systems, but um, I suppose I haven't developed those systems well enough. I've pissed off quite a lot of factions, and then not not as bad as previous campaigns. Uh, but my big thing was I totally underestimated how quickly the Volfa could uh, could recover and then actually be able to overwhelm me. 
And uh, with that, we get a notification that their forces are overwhelming, which indeed, at 46 ships, they are. And our world tree has been removed. Um, so anyway, it's about 45 minutes. Should we carry on for a bit? We'll carry on for another little bit. Because this, I suspect this could be the last video on this campaign, guys. Um, yeah, do we go... Do I try the Raleigh for a fifth... Uh, do you know, I may, may try the Raleigh for a fifth time on normal. Um, just because uh, there's only, you know, there's only so much you can take. You know, I'd quite, quite like to actually progress with them for a bit. Uh, hard is really hard. So I'm assuming the, well, I assume the Dauntless will arrive at Omega shortly. They would have gone for Greek then next, I would think. Let's put the game speed up. Let's let's see what happens. These Volfer ships, are they still fairly... Yeah, they're still fairly old. So they've got these um, plasma bombs by the look of it. So that's that's new. And uh, yeah, landing on Greek. So Kothla 3. Um, yeah, just producing ships for us, okay. Producing ships, but with an ever shrinking economy to support those ships. The Polyps have managed to take Gamma. Uh, Ektra is about to be attacked again, presumably by the Draylock. Uh, all the remnants, actually. Uh, okay. The Valfa captured Greek. Uh, the Cortezina planning a wall. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's just a big pile on now because I'm so weak. And I, I don't blame them. You know, I would do the same if I was them. Um, ah, well, look, I think we. I think we call this one to an end, guys. I don't know. Can't see me recovering from this with uh, all of these enemies, all of them quite significantly stronger. Oddly, I've got the best population, but uh, very much fallen from the height. Uh, oh yeah, here are the um, the Dauntless now. So yeah, I'll end this one now. Lessons to be learned again. I hope you've enjoyed, guys, and um, I'll see you in the next one. There might be a bit of a gap in the videos because um, I get married at the end of this week. So I will be out of action for a couple of days whilst um, we're away. But uh, we're not going on honeymoon because we planned the wedding at uh, short notice, what with COVID and all of that kind of stuff. And then we just had to take the opportunity when we could so yeah it'll be a gap of a few days now and then i think i will try again but um i think i'm gonna give the rally on normal a uh, go i could do with some wins to re um reinvigorate my morale but uh, we'll see we'll see I'm, I'm open to suggestions guys i will see you next time thanks very much